Alright, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahawa Basha Meoshai, Basha Mekar Kodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great wisdom and salutations to the brother that's doing this work in our sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahayar from the James Kingston Jamaica camp here with a quick lesson. This one is entitled The Heavenly Father is the Ultimate Forecaster. Now, going into it, the word forecasting from Web Dictionary is predict or estimate a future event or trend. Synonyms predict prophecy, prognosticate, augate divine, foretell, foresee, forewarn. Right? Now, the Heavenly Father is the orchestrator of all things that is. Right? He is, he is the end all and be all of everything in the world, yo. You understand? And what did he say? This is the book of um, Habakkuk. Where is Habakkuk? Habakkuk chapter 2. Started. Start at one, he said, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Right? So now the Heavenly Father has made the vision plain upon tables. What are the tables? The tables are the, the scriptures that he had given to his holy prophets, right? Those are the ones that he has given the word and he has given the understanding of the word. This is Amos chapter 3 verse 7. It says, Surely the Lord will do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto, the, unto his servants, the prophets. So now he has given the secrets of the visions that has been upon the tables, right? Unto the prophets. So prophets are, are to what? Prophesy. The word prophesy means to say before. So he has given this understanding within this of the scriptures to his servants, the prophets. And he, that's those are the ones that he has um basically unveiled the mysteries of the scriptures too. That he may run that read it. Hit. So when we get the, the word of the Heavenly Father, we're going to basically publish it, man. Understand? Right? So this is the book of, book of Psalms chapter 68 verse 11. It said, The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. So the Heavenly Father gave the word. And great is the multitude of them that published it. So we are to publish the words of the Heavenly Father that he, he has given unto us. The visions and the forecasting of what the world is going into. Right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it, shall, it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right? So the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? So from the time of the prophets going back over 2,000 years ago, these visions was, was in the making. The Heavenly Father unveiled them unto his servants. The prophets gave them the vision in dreams. He, he didn't give them the full understanding. So that's why the scripture said the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? So now is the time that the scripture is speaking. Said, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So the word is surely coming to pass. It will not tarry, because the Heavenly Father is the ultimate forecaster. These scientists and data analysis and analysts, they might predict and predict as all they want, but the ultimate prediction is what? The end of this current system and the establishment of the new. Zin, 
this is Isaiah 6, 50, 6, 55 verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, yet are your ways my neither are your ways my my ways, said the Lord. So the heavenly father ways is far come past the ways of man. Right? Man might have their vain opinion, such as Esau, right? Thinking that his time will continue forever. But the ways of the heavenly father far come past the understanding of men. Right? This is the book of Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the Eden range and the people imagine a vain thing? Because the imagination of these people is to think that this world shall continue. They believe that this current establishment will stand. But the heavenly father has declared it to fall. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords. He that sitteth in heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. So the Lord is going to have them in derision because their imaginations are vain and they will not basically accomplish their enterprise as it says in the book of Job. Right? Derision. To mock. To stammer. To mock. Derade. Right? So the Heavenly Father have the, have the masses in derision and he gave it the true understanding and revelation of what is to come in the last days to his servants the prophets. The servant, his servants, the prophets are going to declare this, this truth unto his elect, right? Only the elect will get this understanding. And for the rest, it's going to be the warning. So going back to Isaiah 55, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways my ways, said the Lord. Verse 11, So shall my word be that word forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me, void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i sent it so the heavenly father has given a word and it shall accomplish that which he please right and it shall not return and it shall not return unto him void but prosper in the thing that he sent it right no what shall prosper right let me get this in the book of I think it's in the book of Second Ezra's. I think it's verse nine. Second Ezra chapter one, verse nine. Yes, that's it. So it can, it says, He answered me then and said, Where measure though the time diligently in itself? And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So now, let's look up the word major. Right? This is the word major. It says, ascertain the size, amount, or degree of something by using an instrument or device marked in standard use units calculate compute estimate count meter quantify right assess the importance effect or value of so now this is what the heavenly father the, the basically what the men of the lord are doing they are quantifying the time and measuring it within itself diligently. The, the measurement is, instrument that is being used to do that is the scripture. That's why it says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest, because as a prophet, you have to be a watchman, which is scripture totally standing on the towers, right? Seeing the, the signs coming to pass. Understand? Which the Heavenly Father has told us about. Before through his son Yahweh Shai. Right? He said, Thou shall then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the earth, then shall thou well understand that the most I speak of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. 
So even from the beginning, the Heavenly Father made a, a precise forecasting of what is to come in these last days. And he, said, he told you that there will be earthquakes and uproars of the people. In the book of... In the book of... Um, Matthew, chapter 24. All right, this is Matthew 24, verse 3. All right, let me just start at one. And Yahushua went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahushua said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Right? The end of the world here basically means the end of an age, not the world as um, the physical world. And Yahushua had answered and said, Unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am I am Christ, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So now what we have been seeing um for the past couple of years is a currency war. You see? A currency war then we are transitioning into a trade war as Trump declared um, a massive tariff on Chinese products right so these are the, the trends that takes place before the final war you have currency war trade war then you have the major war coming coming in effect right no they will father don't don't told you a while ago that and he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. So we're measuring these times and we're assessing what is about to come and relating these things to the scripture. For nation shall rise up against nation. Russia against America, China against America, Iran against America, France and the EU nations against all, all the others. The scripture is speaking, man. And it's evidently playing out in secular history. Right? For nation shall rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So all these things are the beginning of sorrows because the time has not yet come for the end, for the full implementation and effect of, of this thing on a mass level, which is the coming forth of the chip and World War Three. Right? Verse 3. This is back in 2 Israel chapter 15. Verse, verse 4. It said, Then shall thou understand, well understand, that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For all, for like as all that is made in the world at a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Let's look up the word manifest. Right? The end is manifest. So the word manifest means clear or obvious to the eye or mind. Right? So the end is clear and obvious, man. We can obviously see where the trend is going towards in terms of this whole entire global economic structure. And where it's going to what it's going towards. We clearly see that it's going to a cashless society. We clearly see that with the move of a cashless society, these trade wars, these currency wars leading up into the final World War Three. We can clearly see that. And what was the measurement that was given unto us to see these predictions and assess the flow of, of these things? The scriptures, the word was given unto us, man. The word was given unto us to basically manifest these things to make these things clear right and the end is manifest even so the times also of the highest of plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects 
and signs and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he have believed. Right? So the Heavenly Father have a select few that shall be going to be saved. Right? Because those are the ones that has faith in his words and basically come to the knowledge and understanding of what is to be manifest in the last days. Right? This is... But where is the book of um, Ecclesiastes, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So right now is the time to remember, to measure, to make clear, to understand clearly, wake up out of sleep, that the prediction of the end is not a good one. Right? The end time in this current society, as, as the forecasting of the Heavenly Father has seen it, is not a pleasant ending. Right? So remember now the, the, the Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days dry not, um, come it not. Now the ear is drawn nigh. So the ear is slowly drawing closer and closer till the time of the end when it shall see massive impacts of these economic changes, of these um, cashless society policies, right? Where you're going to see massive impact, right? But now you should, you're you supposed to remember the thy creator, as in, before the days when you shall say you shall have no pleasure in them. Right? Continuing. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. This is a forecast because there is going to become a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out in the wind of the windows be darkened. There shall be no hope. The hope is going to cease because there, there will come a time when job, jobs are going to decrease. There is going to be a lot of redundancies as in, because of the technological advantages that, that are being placed, right, put in place right now. Right? While, 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 while operators in factory, those things get cut. Right? And we have seen events of this in recent history. For example, in Jamaica, they have the sugarcane industry. Due to, the, due, due to the, the, the influx of technology and the, 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 um, the reaping of sugarcane, they had to cut a massive amount of human resources because they had the technology to, to yield more pure produce with um, technology than with manpower for a, for a cheaper cost. So, those things are going to happen again. And it's going to be at a more, a more massive level. Right? These are predictions that has been measured out, quantified, verified by the scriptures. Right? And the scripture tell you, his word shall not return unto him void. And the grindings, grinders cease. Because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be, be a burden, and desire shall fail. Because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets. Right? These are the times that we are drawing up on. The scriptures, you, while you're seeking for riches, the scriptures already told you that riches profited not in the day of wrath. The scriptures also told you that um, in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12 
Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, which is the deceiver, the so-called white man, the elites of this current society, El Diablo, is come down unto you having great wrath, because he know it that he had but a short time. So he knows that he had but a, he had but a short time to accomplish his agenda. He can clearly see the breach is being closed up. Right? So, he's, he has come down upon you having great wrath. He's the one that is causing these economical shifts. He's the one that is fluctuating the dollar. He's the one that is squeezing the economy in a tight passage to gain more control and to establish his infrastructure through the microchip. Right? So, what should you do? seeing these times coming to pass. Scripture tells you in Proverbs 11 verse 4, it says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. So, righteousness is going to deliver you, man. Yielding, un yielding unto the words of the Heavenly Father, having integrity, shall guide you. Right? But if you have perverseness in your heart, then that will destroy you, yo. Right? You're leading away from the, the part that the Heavenly Father has set out is going to destroy you. Because the Heavenly Father told you already in Isaiah, right? In the book of Isaiah 33. Seeing that, but seeing that the times are, that we are coming, uh, that's coming ahead, is perilous times. The book of Isaiah 33 verse 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, is his treasure. So once you have the fear of the Lord, you have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Lord, you know the forecastings of, of what is to come. You're supposed to abide under the shadow. Of the Almighty. Right? These are the ways that you're supposed to prepare to flee from these times. Right? Psalms 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. And from the no, no, noisome, okay. and from the noisome, newsome pestilence, right? So the heavenly Father will deliver you from the times to come if you stand in firmness of righteousness and do His will. Be a watchman, be a prophet. A prophet prophesies. The forecasting that the Heavenly Father has given unto them. Right? Make it clear and establish it through the four corners of the earth. Right? This is our purpose as prophets. This is what we are here to do. Right? And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying unto the elect. Shalom.